LastPass has suffered a major security breach, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all of the need to know details. The hacker first breached LastPass back in August, and they were able to steal some source code as well as some technical data about the company. They then used that information to hack a LastPass employee and were able to attain their credentials and security keys for a cloud-based backup storage service. This cloud-based storage service was separate from LastPass's main network, but it is where they stored backup copies of their company and user data, which the hacker was able to download. According to LastPass, the stolen vault data contained fully encrypted sensitive fields such as website usernames and passwords, secure notes, and form fill data, along with unencrypted website URLs. So in other words, they got everything. Now, the stolen data is 256-bit AES encrypted and does require the customer's master password to decrypt. LastPass themselves never knows a customer's master password due to their zero-knowledge architecture. However, if a customer's master password is weak, it could potentially be brute forced. And even if a customer has a strong master password, due to the information that was stolen, customers can now easily start receiving phishing emails, which will try to get that master password out of them. LastPass has reiterated that they would never ask customers directly for their master passwords, and therefore those master passwords should never be input anywhere except for the LastPass client software that lives on your smartphone or as a browser plugin. LastPass also claims that if a customer's master password is complex enough and follows best practices, there is no danger. But don't believe them. So as a LastPass user, what can you do besides curl up into a ball and cry? Certainly changing your LastPass master password to a very strong password or passphrase is an excellent idea. And you should absolutely enable two-factor authentication if you haven't already. But the hackers have your passwords. If they're able to brute force your old LastPass master password, any account that you have stored with LastPass is now compromised. So that being the case, to be extra safe, you now need to start combing through every password for every website stored in your LastPass vault and change it. Starting with the most sensitive sites such as, you know, your email accounts and, you know, banking information, cryptocurrency information, anything that really needs to be kept super secure. This is the only way to be sure that your accounts are safe. Also, while you're doing that, make sure you also enable two-factor authentication on all of those sites wherever humanly possible. And finally, in my opinion, you should also reconsider using LastPass at all. I mean, this breach is entirely unacceptable for a company that has this level of responsibility over your secure data. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about LastPass alternatives in the comments below. In the meantime, you may be interested in these other videos that I have handpicked for you over on the right. The top video is my world famous video on why you should be using YubiKeys for two-factor authentication. And the bottom video is my recent final update on the ubiquity breach that happened back in December, 2020.